run the source command on Vivado's settings64.sh script. If you have a 32-bit computer, you'd run the 32-bit version script instead. So let's move back one directory and get another one of Xilinx's repos. But this time we're going to be getting the Linux kernel source code. And again, using the submodule add command here. Downloading this repo might take a while since there's a lot that goes into the Linux kernel source. After about 5 to 10 minutes, everything should be downloaded. And similar to what we did with uBoot, you want to tell the kernel build system what configuration you want to use. CD into the Linux Xilinx directory and run the following make command to tell the build system to use the Xilinx Zinc configuration file. Once the configuration file is in place, run the following command to tell the build system that your target architecture is an ARM and you want to use an ARM none EABI cross compiler to build the Linux kernel source on all of the cores available on your computer. This can usually take anywhere between a minute to half an hour depending on the specs of your computer. Once the build is finished, you can find the kernel binaries in the arc arm boot directory. However, the type of format that we need for the kernel binary isn't here. The image file that you see here is the uncompressed version of the Linux kernel binary, and the Z image file here is the compressed version of the Linux kernel binary. But what we really need is the compressed version of the Linux binary that also has some specific information in it for uBoot so that uBoot will know how to pass off control to the Linux kernel. The file name that has that is called uImage, and that's not here. uImage adds some header information before the compressed kernel binary section of the binary file, and it will indicate things like version numbers, loading position of memory, how many bytes are in the image, your compression type, and so on. To make the uImage binary, you can run the following command. This command tells the Linux kernel build system to build the uImage binary and place the load address of 8000 hex in the uImage header. This load address specifies where in RAM the kernel binary should be placed by uBoot for the CPUs to start executing it. For an ARM Linux kernel, the recommended load and entry point address is usually 8000 hex from the start of physical memory, so that's where we'll place our kernel binary. Once the build is finished, if you look into the arc arm boot directory again, you'll now see the uImage there.